Okay, got a question from Pepper Bradford uh, about the hanging uh, trays, if you will, or the uh, uh, those pipes up there. What those were uh, were their utility grade PVC, and they were cut longitudinally and put up there. They're fairly pricey, as you can imagine. There's they're uh, you know city water, sewer, and gas pipes. I was able to get them for free as they were damaged and could use them. They probably are cost prohibitive. They are cost prohibitive from new. But a six inch or eight inch uh, sewer and drain pipe cut in half would do the same thing. It allowed me to pick up some more growing space. We have a a number of questions here, so I'm going to zip through them fairly quick and hope uh, that I don't miss any. Kevin, where do we find info on double digging biointensive method? If you go to growbiointensive.org or John Jevons info, uh, you'll find information on that. I do use the biointensive methods in the high tunnels extensively because I, and in the field, to be honest, because I found them, find them very productive and uh, cost effective and help me to approach sustainability in terms of energy use. A uh, question from Wendy. I'm in central Tennessee and would like to know if uh, the layout of hoop houses would be okay. Yes, um, it really uh, has been shown that orienting the greenhouses east-west so that the long side of the greenhouse faces south is much more effective. Now, most uh, people would compensate that you can have shading under that circumstance, but most people, if you look at general greenhouse information, will tell you to go north-south to reduce shading. Uh, heat is more important than the light, as uh, Natalie pointed out, and so it's important to maximize that. Um, Frank asked, how tall were the inner layer supports on the beds that were oriented across the width of the house? Those are about 30 inches tall, uh, Frank. Uh, Jay asked, was the second lettuce crop uh, was the second lettuce crop succession planted? for the winter, yes. Um, under the system where we closed and opened every day, we had much greater thermal performance. And being in a, a, a moderately warm climate in a zone 6, we were able to plant out every day of the uh, uh, year virtually and harvest. So we didn't have to load up the greenhouse in the fall, as some people might have to do in a more northerly climate. Uh, we were constantly harvesting. We, I have some sheets that I, I can't post right now, but they will show that we've planted in January and were able to harvest pak choy, the small Mai Qing or uh, Xing Chang cultivars in as little as 26 days from planting. So multiple plantings for sure. Okay, I think I've, uh, if somebody, if I haven't answered your question, please go ahead and type one in. And is there any questions for Natalie as well? Wendy has a question. Is the first crop of lettuce and spinach, can that be direct sowed? Uh, yeah, of course, if it's cut and come again for the lettuce in a uh, salad mix, we do sow the first crop of lettuce as well, uh, or um, transplant in that first lettuce crop. I don't transplant spinach, but I know some people that have. Uh, Carl has a question to follow up on the earlier, uh, those second and later crops. 
if they're appropriately direct seeded, like spinach, mizuna, tot soy, that kind of thing for cut and uh, come again salad mixes, we direct seed those right in with a four point precision seeder. If, and uh, we also transplant in uh, lettuce if we have needs for uh, head lettuce. Okay, question from Laura, how the wood support is attached to the pipe. That 2x4 that's laying on its side is attached by a uh, 5 16 carriage bolt. You could even use a quarter inch carriage bolt bolted directly through the support, bo uh, the bow pipe. Jay, we haven't had it. We have had rodent problems, and the, the uh, problems, you know, we weren't really able to cover a lot of the management of high tunnels today, just that inner cover issue. But rodents, by far, have been my biggest problem, and that includes primarily uh, moles and, and other critters like that. The, the, the mice and rats can be trapped out with snap traps or things like that. We are organic. And so uh, that, but those other, uh, the voles that eat the, uh, can eat plant roots and so forth, those and moles, those are uh, really tough to, to eliminate. Uh, Rick asks if we have tried more than one layer of inner protection. Rick, is, are you referring to inner covers with more than one layer or the roof of the main high tunnel? No, I, I haven't tried more than uh, one layer on the inner cover, but that might be uh, effective as well, especially building on Natalie's work where heat was more important than light. That really comes in with that question that I saw that complex uh, slide of where the uh, double wall, the single, my hypothesis about the single wall high tunnel was kind of thrown out the window. And I really needed that two-layer plastic on the big house as well. Great questions. Great questions. So there, uh, I think our time has expired. We can hang in here a few more minutes. I would ask if everybody take a minute, just click on that webinar survey, fill it out, and get back to us. We'd sure appreciate that. Good question, Carl, on when to open and close. Um, it, in Pennsylvania, if it was uh, 26 and snowing, then there was no light to be gained. Everything stayed locked up. Uh, if, and that was just a few days of the year, because not only did we want to uh, retain the heat, but we wanted to make sure we had some ventilation. Um, so if we knew a storm front was coming through, even if it was cool, we erred on the side of ventilation to make sure the crops had adequate uh, heat, heat um, oh, adequate air uh, transmission, adequate air exchange before the, the front came through and we got pounded for a couple of days with dark, dreary weather. Uh, that's bad news, Jay, that our survey link doesn't work. We'll work on that. Thanks. Um, what we may do for this survey link that is not working, uh, if you don't mind, uh, we have your emails. Uh, Amber may be able to send out a webinar survey, and we can collect it in another format. Uh, Amber's already on top of that. Isn't she the best? OK. Well, I think we'll go ahead and close out for this session. I want to thank each of you for attending. It was uh, I have done these before as a guest lecturer, but there's certainly a lot more pressure when you're running the show. And uh, I'm sorry for uh, stumbling and bumbling now and then as I reached for uh, different devices to keep things moving on. Thanks very much, and I hope it was useful. Go to our website to see it in print. And a special thanks to Amber and Natalie and to Andy for all their help with this. Thanks.